here we're at the Le Four Greenhouses in saint clotty de Chateauguay in the Montréger region of, on the south shore of Montreal. Here we have 10 hectares of greenhouses, of which two hectares are in organic production presently. We'll have three hectares in organic production by the end of this year, 2015. I'm Julie Lefort. I'm the Vice President for Innovation and Development for this family business, which my father founded in 1994. Since 2012, here at the Le Four Greenhouses, we've been producing organic peppers and cucumbers. We've been lacking a bit of information on fertilization techniques for organic greenhouse production. So we've been working with some researchers, some students from Laval University, and some people from Agriculture Canada. Thanks to the science cluster, we've learned a lot as a result of participating in the research process. My name is Martine Doré. I'm a researcher at Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. My work is focused on the study of plant physiology and sheltered crop production. Right now, for the research that we're presently involved in through the science cluster, we are focused principally on organic fertilizers. For example, when to apply them, what quantities, uh, in order to know what's optimal for maximizing the profitability of each plant. So the researchers have come to visit us and they asked, what is it that you want to know more about? What problems do you seek to address? By brainstorming together, we've come up with our um, wish list of topics, identifying the most urgent problem to which we'd like to find an answer. And, this is how we've come up with what to research. The researchers have the responsibility for designing the structure of the research project, and together then we have started to carry out the research activities. And the research activity we are undertaking with Le Four Greenhouses has the goal of elevating the nutritive value and tastiness of the fruits and vegetables being cultivated in the greenhouses, in particular for tomatoes, peppers, and cucumbers. So to arrive at that end, we are studying the use of different kinds of fertilizers, notably nitrogen fertilizers, to figure out the correct amounts needed by plants to, on the one hand, improve productivity, and on the other, to be sure to improve the taste and nutritive value of the crops. We are also working with growth stimulators to improve plant resistance to disease, as well as to biotic and abiotic stress factors. And the third part of the project focuses on the use of artificial lighting, notably the new LED lighting systems. The first objective of our LED lighting research is to provide lighting that permits a higher level of photosynthesis at the level of the plant canopy. So inside the leafy canopy we've placed our lighting systems this means that for leaves normally in shady zones, if we add lighting from within the canopy, this means that these leaves can become more photosynthetically productive, leading to an overall greater productivity for the plant. That's the first objective. Secondly, we are investigating what happens with the use of lights that are either redder, bluer, or even far infrared light sources. Light selection can help us optimize the plant's synthesis of certain nutritive compounds, for example, vitamin C or phenolic compounds through using short wavelength light and red light, which can promote carotenoid development. So then we have a treatment where we're testing the use of providing UVB light pulses at certain points during the night only, because this could be dangerous for the greenhouse employees, in order to see if we can try and provoke a low level of stress in the plant that may lead to an increase in the nutritive value of fruits and vegetables without inducing so great a stress that this would lead to physiological disorders or uh, affect plant growth. Ideally, this is about finding the right dose of light in terms of the light spectrum, as well as the intensity of light on the fruits themselves, as well as throughout the plant canopy to promote photosynthesis and productivity. We perform research at different levels. 
particularly at the level of mineralization of the fertilizers. This is done in order to observe the mineralization rate in the substrate. Then we use to observe data to create specific fertilizing recipe that we apply on our crops. By doing so, we can integrate and benefit from the scientific results and obtain higher yields for our greenhouse production. We also decided to test different methods for keeping the soil covered. Truly, in a greenhouse, evaporation is quite rapid and the soil surface can quickly become really dry, really fast. So we've decided to try and identify production methods that might help the soil be more capable of retaining its moisture. Since our fertilizers are applied onto the surface, this means that when things dry out, worms and other soil microorganisms won't come to the surface to help incorporate these nutrients. So we've decided to test which kinds of soil cover might be best for our pro production system. Here you can see our cucumber plants. They grow here for about four months. Afterwards, the plants are composted on site. We are presently doing some research on composting methods in order to figure out the best possible way to compost. Because presently, our greatest concern in reusing our compost is not knowing for sure if any plant diseases or pests remain, if they have or haven't been completely destroyed during the composting process. This is our greatest fear. In fact, a collaboration of researchers with industry partners on research projects is essential, given that producers have the daily know-how of running their operation. They know a lot about what they are growing, so we can really learn a lot from them. And then, as their counterparts, we are involved in daily exchanges. We are involved in looking at theoretical aspects and providing explanations of data. We propose different methods that we believe might help improve a grower's production approach and the quality of what they grow and to help improve the way they use nutrients. So, really, it's a two-sided exchange. This is what makes for successful research with producers. And What's so marvelous about this project is that the technology transfer happens immediately given that the project is taking place in the setting of an actual operating business. So all the while that we're doing the research, we are able to validate the feasibility or potential of using the techniques we are researching uh, more widely. Often research can be theory-based. We can have good ideas, but they may not actually be economically feasible when applied on a larger scale. So doing research with producers permits for constant adjustments, improving a project as it goes along, so that we truly respond to the needs of the sector. Mm -hmm.